In this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you how to stop the play PA read out of the gun bunch offset formation in Madden 23. This is one of the most popular concepts and plays out of the Colts bunch formation for a variety of different reasons. And I wanted to break down how I would recommend stopping this play uh, with some very simple adjustments. Now we're gonna be doing this out of the dollar three, two formation. If you wanna get my entire dollar three, two defensive ebook, make sure that you join the Patreon. Just $10 will get you access to everything. We're completely revamping uh, our dollar defensive ebook since the latest patch, because I do believe that it's the most consistent defense that you can run, whether you're running the loop pressure or you're running edge pressure, or you want really good run defense this formation has everything that you need um, and it starts and ends really i think with the fact that you can run this at a very high level on baseline and then we're going to put our zone coverage to match uh, and then of course the play we're going to be in is going to be db fire too now the first thing we want to do with this is we don't want to defend this concept at the expense of the rest of our defense right so we don't want to completely sell out stop this we still want to have really really good coverage adjustments for other things that they might do. So um, what we're gonna do with this is very simple. What I like to do is I like to show blitz. I'm gonna quickly move these safeties down and then I'm gonna press. And typically that's going to create really nice alignment for the formation. Now from there, we wanna make our coverage adjustments. Really what I like to do typically is we are going to uh, go ahead and put this corner on the left side of hard flat. That's gonna take away any kind of running back route. It's gonna take away that tight end drag or any drag from the bunch side relatively well. And then we're going to kind of cross man that safety onto the solo receiver. Now, another way that you could do this is if you wanted to take away the running back specifically, you could do the scissor adjustment um, or you could rotate into this kind of cover three. So there's a lot of different options, but this one right here, I think is the best specifically for how people like to attack out of the bunch offset this year uh, with the fact that we're either gonna get a C route typically over on that side, or we're gonna get this play right here, which is play right here, the setup, is we're gonna drag Owen Daniels, we're gonna slant Michael Irvin, we're gonna fade or streak that outside receiver, and then we're typically gonna block a running back. So you see, this is what the play art looks like. And if we just do that basic level adjustment, I want you to take a look at how this defense plays this. For the most part, it actually plays it quasi okay, but there are two primary issues, and we're gonna talk about um, those primary issues. So the first primary issue is really in who do you user? Um, who do you use her? Okay, the second primary issue is this player right here. Now, one of the most important questions that you can ask yourself whenever you are playing defense, whether it be in Madden 23, Madden 24, Madden 25, Madden 26, right, whatever year of Madden it is, is where can they hurt me? What is the, uh, what is the most popular routes in the formation and who runs them? Who runs the most popular routes in the formation? This year's game, this slot receiver runs deep crossers, deep corners, post routes, slant motion slants. He does a lot of work um, for the offense, okay? And we're gonna talk about that here. But if you watch here, right at this point right here, you see that this guy kind of gets in this little soft spot against zone. And then this guy, he is really the key player that we need to be able to take away over in that little window right there. So it's actually relatively simple uh, in terms of how we're going to adjust to stop this. Again, I like to show blitz quickly move those safeties and then repress and then get onto my user from there what we're going to do is we are going to do that adjustment on the on the left and then on the right side what i like to do typically is we are going to take that linebacker and we're going to man him up onto that slot receiver and that guy typically is going to have uh, hopefully deep route knockout of some sort now what this allows us to do uh, defensively is we're not going to stop that route to the slot receiver every single time but it does allow us to have kind of a basic shell on the right side we have a cover two shell on the right side and then we can kind of use her here and then jump back to here and by then the pressure comes in so quick that it makes this a really really difficult uh, play to be able to run consistently. So if we jump into instant replay and kind of break down just some of the throwing lanes here, you're going to see that we can use her that tight end off the rip, which we should. Then we want to jump over here and take this away because we've now passed this guy off to this hard flat zone here. And then we're hoping that this guy is going to be able to be close enough where his KO is going to potentially activate over on that player. Now I'll show you some other things and some other little cool tricks um, that you can use to stop this if they're not hurting you with the running back out of the backfield or if you're planning to use or the running back out of the backfield. One of the things that I might recommend then is to third that 
uh, left side or to outside third of that corner on the left side. And then from there, uh, we're going to actually go ahead and cross man the uh, the safety onto the, the slot receiver there. So what we can do is we can cross man the tight end. with We can man up the tight end with the linebacker there. We can cross man that number two receiver. And then we have kind of that cover two concept over there. And if we wanted to, we could even drop the nose tackle into a little inside zone. If this is the main play that they're running, these are some pretty decent adjustments uh, for something like that. Another thing you could do is roll into a cover three like something like this right here, especially once you see that they motion this guy, this is typically going to be their play call. And now, as you see here, we're gonna take that away there. And then the main thing we wanna use her is really that backside slant coming underneath the uh, underneath the play. So these are some ways that you can deter uh, one of the most popular plays in bunch this year. This is by far one of the most popular plays. Again, if you're trying to take away that running back route a little bit quicker and allow yourself to help time to get over here, it is going to change a little bit about how you want to play this. I actually think sending four is not a bad idea occasionally. And what this allows you to do is it allows you to keep this vertical hook or this hook curl, whatever you want to do over here, which now you have a hard flat, you have a hook curl defender, right? You have a lot of resources over on this bunch side that's going to give you a little bit of a shot at stopping this motion slant. And so now I can hear and then I can just go right back to there. And by that time, the pressure is typically coming in. And you see they're thrown right into a covered player, right into a zone. So this is a great way to take away one of the most popular plays. And just want to show you real quick how we can defend another one of the most popular plays this year, uh, which is, you know, some variation of this of this concept here. But basically just a simple high-low on the backside. Maybe it's a backside dig, right? But some kind of, you know, basically uh, a simple flood here. With really the same basic adjustments, you're going to see that this is still going to be relatively effective. Again, what we're going to be able to do here is, you know, we're going to be able to do something like this. And if you look at this concept as it pertains to a flood concept, this is going to play pretty solid. As you see, that third is going to do a good job of taking away the corner route on the outside. And then the hard flat also does a really good job of taking away any kind of like snap throw wheel route alongside of that tight end wheel route taken away by that vert hook. So this is a great little base coverage. Again, you want to, again, you know, try to run your defensive concepts against the number one or the number two, top two or three key passing concepts to start to understand how to adjust, where to adjust, why to adjust, and most importantly, who is their key player in their offense. Typically in this year's game for Bunch, it's going to be that slot receiver and that tight end. Those are the two main players that you need to neutralize. Obviously, the solo receivers got a lot, really can mainly just run a C route um, if you think about it. So I actually think, you know, because we understand that we're going to force them to block that running back, I actually really like to third um, this player over here. I'm always going to blitz this guy off of the edge. And then this allows me a ton of versatility with how I want to play this backside, right? So maybe I want to do some crazy cross manning um, like so and then off of that you know we can kind of live in this cover two world where we have hard flat coverage on the on the right and then we're always sending you know five at least four at least potentially five and if they try to get us with you know maybe this verticals concept here you're going to see this plays pretty well now that that corner on the right or on the left side typically is not going to get burned like that um, typically he's going to be fine so and if you really need to you can you can always back them off um, but I really like to cross man this uh, this solo receiver side safety onto if they're running more crossing routes, if they're running more, you know, bunch side floods, then I'm going to probably change a little bit of how I want to defend this. But if they're running, you know, just kind of a basic offense like this, this is a pretty solid little play. It'll take away verticals for the most part. Um, that cross man is super, super effective this year. So. Don't want to take up any more of your time, but if you want to get my entire 4-6 defensive handbook, including dollar and everything that I like to do out of this formation, we're actually doing a massive deep dive into dollar, updating the ebook, several hours of content going deep into why you adjust, how you adjust, who do you adjust to against the best offenses in the game. And I think you guys are going to really like it. So thanks for watching the video and uh, make sure you go get in the Patreon. 10 bucks gets you access to everything over there. Thanks for watching and we hope to see you guys over at the Patreon page.